Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahawah Kodash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news, in all truthfulness and sincerity, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe, they may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations, but if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you can perceive it through the spirit, as well as no matter what you may look like. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. All right, and the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai, they know what they got to do, all right? As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, so it's the brother Karatazai, and I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. The word uh, edify means to build up. Okay, a an epistle is a letter, and this is a letter to the church uh, via video. All right, it's 2022. Okay, so that's how we do it in these times. All right, in these last days. So with that, what I got here is we're going to uh, go into the book of Baruch in the Apocrypha, all right, which is canon, all right, because Yahweh Shai, whom the world angry calls Jesus Christ, he even uh, quoted from the Apocrypha, all right? And I could do a lesson on that uh, at a later time, but... The re we're going to start in Baruch chapter 2, and we're going to start at uh, verse 29, all right? And the, re the Spirit been on me to do this uh, for a couple of days now, but I'm just now uh, getting the time to do this lesson because I got, like, I've seen three articles, and I'm, I haven't got to go into them, but that's three lessons I got on deck for the future, all right? But the reason why I'm doing this is because... These people are the the world, all right, is mad at us for waking up. But it's not, it's the Heavenly Father uh woke us up. All right. Hey, y'all thought that y'all was was it, but it really was us. Okay, it really was the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. So let's go here. This is Baruch chapter two, and we're gonna start at verse 29. And it reads, if ye will not hear my voice, all right, the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Shai, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them, all right? Hey, Israel, us Israelites, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are like the sand of the sea, but we have been scattered across the four corners of the globe. Therefore, we are minorities in, in, in the land of our captivities, wherever we're at on the planet. Okay? So with that, let's grab this. We're going to give uh, Baruch chapter 2 and verse 29 again. If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude multitude of Israelites shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. All right. And this was prophesied in the, in the book of Deuteronomy. All right. Chapter 28. Let's grab it real quick. Uh, let me see here. Deuteronomy 28 in verse 62. All right. Straight to the point. Let me highlight it, cause I don't got it highlighted in this uh, in this device. And it reads, "And ye shall be left few." Matter of fact, let's start at verse fifteen. 
And then we're going to jump down to verse 62. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken, meaning to listen, unto the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay. Now let's jump down to uh, verse 62. And ye shall be left few in number. Whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy power. Let's get that again. Deuteronomy 28, Slaki Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 62. And ye shall be left in few number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of of the Lord Yahweh thy power. So going back into Baruch chapter 2 and verse 29. All right. That's why it says, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. So now with that, the thought just popped up into my head. Wow. You got people like Vocab Malone bitch ass and his ilk you weak ass Christians we took the Bible back from y'all bitch ass alright y'all steadily trying to deflect what we uh, what we're saying us the Israelites those who have woken up but how come y'all can't prove what y'all saying through the scriptures like we just like we can prove it continuing on alright Verse 30, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. All right. Hey, ah, Negroes, Latinos. Hey, let's get it. Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. We are in captivity to this very day. All right. So let's grab this in the book of um, Jeremiah. All right. Jeremiah chapter 51. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with 51. It might be in 50. Uh, let's see here. Yep. So I'm, it, it must be in 50 what I'm looking for. Yep. Jeremiah chapter 50 in verse 33. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, of armies, the children of Israel, meaning the northern kingdom of Israel, which would, which is made up of so-called Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, so-called, because that's not, those names are proverbs and bywords given to you, all right? given to us all right you are the israelites of the bible and the children of judah all right the southern kingdom you so-called negroes north american negroes you, you you uh you haitians all right you jamaican you so-called jamaicans which are benjamites all right were oppressed together and all that took them captives held them fast they refused to let them go, and they refused to let us go now. Because if y'all let us go out of captivity now, all right, this this place would have big crumbled. Because we doing all the goddamn heavy lifting for you motherfuckers, man. All right? And if you don't like it, you don't got to watch my videos. All right? It's, it, go to another brother. But I will tell you this. If you don't watch my videos... At least go to another brother in Great Millstone because you're going to get the 100% truth. Don't go to these other camps, man. You're going to fall flat on your fucking face. All right? Let's get that again. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives 
held them fast. They refused to let them go. All right. So we know these scriptures ain't lying, man. All right. We we know these prophecies are true. Okay. So now with that, let's read uh, verse 31. Uh, well, we'll read verse 30 again. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And we remember in ourselves now all through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. And shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, their power. For I give them an heart, a right meaning mind, and ears to hear. Okay. Verse 32, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. All right, let's grab this uh, preset real quick, which vocab weak, soft ass and his ilk can't do. John 316, bitch, you can't even break that down right. This is St. John chapter six. All right. And we're going to grab verse 39. And this is red letter. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, whom the world entering calls Jesus Christ. But our Lord, our King, our Savior, want no long, stringy hair, sissy, pale skin, sissy. All right. St. John chapter 6 and verse 39. And this is the Father's will which have sent me, that all of which he have given me, I shall lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. All right, so a hey, when it says in 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 Baruch, all right, chapter two, and uh, verse thirty one, it says, and I sh and and shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh their power, for I will give them an ear, a heart, and ears to hear. Yeah, we we the the elect are gonna know who uh. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai is when he woke us up. All right. So with that, let's go back in Baruch chapter two and verse uh, 32. And it reads, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. All right. We know that the name isn't God is just a title. Uh, I ain't even going to say it. JC, that's some bullshit. The name of the Lord is Yahweh, and the name of his son is Yahweh Shai. All right, let's go here to the book of Acts. All right, Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Go straight to the point. And it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved and that name is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai man all right if you don't believe it good good for me bad for you that just mean I got more of a chance to get on a chariot all right than you non-believers okay um, so with that, let's go back into the book of Baruch chapter two. And this time where we're at verse 33. All right. And re and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord Yahweh. All right. So let's grab this precept real quick. All right, this is going to be the book of Zechariah, back in the Old Testament, chapter 1, and we're going to go straight to the point in verse 3. Let me let me highlight it. Matter of fact, yeah, let me highlight it real quick. This is a precept. Therefore, say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, Turn ye unto me. Saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. All right, so come. Hey, we're turning back to the Lord Yahweh 
by Shim Yao Shai. All right. So with that, uh, now we're going to grab uh, verse 34. And I will bring them again into the land, which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. So, Khan, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, is going to bring us back into the land which He promised us. All right. Matter of fact, I got to pause this and find this scripture real quick. Okay, this is the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15, and it reads I will go and return to my place. Till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Amen. We seeking the Heavenly Father. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Because we tired of this shit, man. We stand, man, look. You got men across the four corners of the globe. We standing up for the nation of Israel. Why you other people, y'all ain't doing shit. All right? Damn. And y'all coming against us. Just for bringing out the, the true breakdowns of these scriptures given to us through the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Start with the Apostle Tahar, the Apostle Gabar, the Apostle Ramlab, and the Apostle Ka, man, and the elders, and the men on down to men such as myself. All right? Back in Baruch, man, uh, chapter 2, where did we leave off at? Yep, and we're going to grab this last one in verse 35. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have have given them, all right? Hey, Judah, we getting, uh, well, I don't, I, you know, brothers say I'm a Judite, but the, uh, Judah is gonna get the land of Israel, all right? Let's grab this. I, I know what tribe I'm from for sure when I, in the kingdom, whether I be a first fruit, wake up on a chariot, or wake up in the kingdom, man. Lord, whether I'm a first fruit, all right, it tells us in the book of St. Luke that some shall not taste death, but hey, let the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Shai, be done, man. Okay, that plain and simple. This is Jeremiah chapter uh, 31 and verse 1, and it reads, let me highlight it. At that same time, say if the Lord Yahweh, will I be the power of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Oh, black Israelites. It's not all the Israelites is only black. Bitch, Salakia, why do the scriptures say that the Heavenly Father, that uh, Israel is the Heavenly Father's heritage, and his heritage is as a speckled bird, man? All right, in the same, in the same book, Jeremiah chapter 12 and verse 9, if my memory serves me correctly. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. Speckled means a variation of different colors. All right. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. All right. Damn, you people are. The Lord hates y'all people. Well, I sit back and meditate how you people can't grasp these plain scriptures, all right? These plain breakdowns, the Lord said, write it up on a table and make it plain. You people are, the Lord, Yahweh Bashir Shah hate y'all. He is going to destroy you people, man. All right, let's go here to the book of Ezekiel. We'll close out with this. This is the book of Ezekiel. Um, There we go. Ezekiel chapter 11 and verse 20. I know I'm going to have to highlight it. Oh, well, you know what? Let's start up at verse 16. The point is in 20. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord Yahweh power, 
Although I have cast them far off from among the heathen, so like it among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord Yahweh power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. We getting that, man, we getting it back. And they shall come thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof and all the abominations thereof from thence. Kosher pig, pink city, all that fucking garbage, man. All right. And I will give them one heart, many a mind, and I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and will give them an heart of flesh. Hebrews chapter eight. OK, verse 10, that they may walk in my statutes and keep mine ordinances and do them and they shall be my people and I will be their power. So with that, Lord willing, this video is edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone, who will, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessings, salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.